Hi. Hello. It's me. Um, so it's September and it's almost October. So it's time. It's Halloween time. <laughs> and I love Halloween. So that's the look. Okay. Trigger warning for this video. Um, I will be mentioning obviously ableism, racism, and also a mention of suicide and suicidality. So if that's not something you can handle, feel free to click out. You don't have to watch this video. Anyway, this video is actually related to the look because I am talking about something that I feel like we don't talk about enough, and that is costumes during Halloween. We talk about them quite a bit, um, especially the racial ramifications of people dressing up as really, really offensive stereotypes and, you know, really, really fucked up, like, um, like appropriations of especially indigenous culture, but also people doing blackface still for Halloween. And uh, that is not something I can speak on because I am white. Um, but what I can speak on is a very similar thing that's happening, not as frequent, but for sure is also happening with the um, crazy or mentally ill patient costume. So people dressing up as if they have esca escaped an insane asylum. I can speak on people's, uh, on mental illness because I have mental illness, but I have not personally been um, institutionalized at any point in my life. So I can't speak on the experience of being institutionalized, but I can not speak on the experience of being mentally ill. And as someone who is mentally ill, I find it a pretty gross uh, costume. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't dress up as a insane patient um, for obvious reasons. You, it's it's helping demonizing people that are going through some pretty intense stuff. And there are so many fun things you can do with Halloween. You know how liberating Halloween is for someone who is mentally ill. You could just dress up however the fuck you want. And as me, uh, for me, my borderline ass, that's amazing. Because I can look like this and people wouldn't give a fuck. You know? So, and like, you can dress up as a clown or as a mime. But not the crazy, dangerous, insane patient who escaped. For obvious reasons. And I don't feel like explaining why that is an ableist thing to do. Because I feel like it's obvious and if you need explaining through that, I don't think I can convince you. That's very simple, but very shortly I can tell you why it's very offensive. Obviously, people that has this, that people that are institutionalized for mental health conditions, so people that, you know, go through a clinical, you know, um, treatment, through clinical treatment, um, are people that struggle a lot with mental illness. Otherwise, you wouldn't end up there. Especially people who get institutionalized for long periods of time. They are often stripped away from their rights. Um, and the chances of people trying to commit suicide after a uh, clinical um, treatment are actually high because not only is it not often very helpful to take people in it's often traumatizing for a lot of people and in a lot of cases putting people in insane asylums as they used to be called was just a way of removing the crazy people, removing them from society. And if that is a fun costume for you, then I don't need to be your friend and I don't need to be close to you because that's a fucked up thing to be dressing up as. There are so many things you can dress up as though that are quite fun actually. And like I said, as a mentally ill person, I fucking love Halloween because Halloween is a place you can dress up 
however the fuck you want. You can be scary, you can be fun, you can, like, do things that are not socially acceptable. Similarly about, like, carnival, you know? It's a time that social rules are a little loosened, and you can be witchy, right? Stuff like that. There are so many things you can do with Halloween and with Halloween costumes that are scary and ooh and fun and like spooky that aren't offensive to marginalized people, very, very vulnerable people in society. Um, so I can just give you some examples. For example, dress up as a fucking clown. If you want to dress up as something fucking creepy, dress up as a clown, man. It's so simple. Dress up as a clown or like a mime. You don't have to be colorful with it either. Or, alternatively, you can dress up as a fucking scary doctor. Because that's not offensive. Because doctors hold a power position over people. You can dress up as a fucking scary doctor about to kill somebody. You can dress up as, like, a killer. For sure, as long as you're not taking it to a psycho killer level. Because that, again, is kind of offensive to mentally ill people. Um, just keep out the... I'm a psychopath elements to it. That's all, really. Um, dress up as some like, scary, like, I don't know, student debt. You can dress up as student debt, that's terrifying. Um, obviously stay away from racial stereotypes and stay away from a very important one too that I personally cannot speak on, but it's very important. Don't use mobility aids if you don't use them because mobility aids are not a costume do not get your grandma's walker out as like a fun part of your costume do not because that is a mobility aid that is not just used by old people and like to dress up as a old person by using a mobility aid you're kind of stigmatizing to people that aren't old that are using that and also stigmatizing to them being useful mobility aids, you know? Because disability is a mode of oppression. Even if we're all likely to become disabled at some point, you are still not. If you're not using that mobility aid to use how it's supposed to, you shouldn't be using it as a costume. Yeah, don't dress up as someone who's disabled, whether mentally or physically. Uh, it's very simple. Um, and also, I still want to point out, don't fucking dress up as racial stereotypes. It's very simple. Don't go as a black person or as a thug. Especially not if you actually, like, do blackface. Don't do blackface or yellowface. Don't do any of the weird, like, hats that are supposed to be, like, Asian core. You know? Don't do any of that. Don't do any of that. Damn. Don't dress up as an indigenous person. Fucking please. <laughs> All right. My uh, camera thinks it's uh, dying, so I will go. Bye.